<laughs> Hold tight. I think I got a good sized bass on the ultralight. What's up everybody, Tim here. Uh, we're at one of my favorite ponds. Take a look at this place. Straight up in the middle of like an urban development. Uh, it is publicly listed. It is public property. Uh, fish here quite often, usually always pulling a few good fish. Uh, it's like perfect for bass though. Solid straight lines down the side. Bottom is just covered in grass all the way across. Usually have a bunch of good luck. Um, I was hoping to do a monster bass uh, unboxing today, but my box got lost by FedEx. No! Luckily, the cool folks at Monster Bass are sending me a replacement box that that will likely not get here till next week. But as soon as I get that uh, for the Kansas box here, and it is now October, I think it's a September box though. I need to take a look. Um, I'll unbox that, you guys can take a look. Downside is I'm only gonna have two weeks to catch a fish on every bait that's provided in that box. Uh, but I think we can do it, we'll see. Uh, temps here have dropped, I'm now in hoodie weather. So uh, previously, what on uh, two days ago, it was about 80 degrees, high 70s, low 80s. Uh, today is 59 degrees. Uh, I haven't touched the water yet, so I'm not sure if it's still pretty warm. It was pretty warm last time I was here before. Starting today, I'm throwing a chatterbait to get us started. It's always a fun one to throw in this water. Usually I have pretty good luck with it. Uh, I love this because it's just the right size. I can do a round with bait, head back to my car, grab another pole, do another round. Um, the other day when I was here, I was getting a lot of little bites as well. So I brought my ultralight just in case, and we'll see what happens. Enough of me talking. Let's get fishing. There's a the fish. Ugh, stay out of that grass. Come on. Aren't you pretty? There we go. First fish of the night. I love green colors on these guys out of this pond. A little beat up spot there. A lot it just looks great. And chatterbait hook. There we go. There we go. Pick for the thumbnail. So let this guy go. See you there, homie. Well, that's one down. Let's see if we can get another one in. I'm just happy. I think that's actually my first YouTube fish. <laughs> Counting it. They're all about that size, about that uh, one pound, or at least most of them are in here. I, um, I have caught a couple three pounders. I know my dad, when I brought him out, he got one about a three pounder as well. I'm hoping they grow, get a bit bigger. I don't hardly ever see anybody out here, so. Let them go, let them grow. You know, I haven't thrown my little ultralight out here in a while. I'm thinking I'm gonna go grab that real quick and switch out before the light gets too low. Let's see what kind of panfish are in here. Um, I don't fish just for bass. Uh, they're a lot of fun. I love them. But I do love some panfish fishing. A little crappie, green sunfish. Um, and if I'm feeling like I just want to chill out, go fishing for catfish as well from time to time. 
Kind of just depends on what I'm feeling and what's available. Let's go switch out. I'm gonna go get my ultralight. All right, so what do we got? Uh, this is just my little ugly stick, four, four foot. It's a combo from Walmart ultralight. Um, there you go, Shakespeare, ugly stick. Smaller reel on it. Uh, just got some four pound Mr. Crappie line on there. It's just monofilament. One of my favorite setups here. And I really have not fished this with my ultralight and this small bait on there. There's something jumping in the water over there. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Make up frogs. There we go. Oh, he got off. <laughs> I love these little things. There we go. What we got? Good old Kansas green sunfish. Look at those pretty things. I know these are like little panfish, but I think they're gorgeous. Uh, just watch them, they will pee. Look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> There's another one. There he goes. Hey there, bud. You missed. Another green sunfish. Absolutely beautiful. That's close. <laughs> Look at that beast. Look at him. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta do this like Instagram. Look how big the fish is. <laughs> See you later, dude. Well, folks, I am losing light. And so this is where I'm going to call it so it doesn't get too dark on the film here. I uh, hope you enjoy coming along tonight. So we've got the one bass in the chatterbait. We've got a couple sunfish on the ultralight just for a little bit of fun. I'm going to fish on the way back. Uh, I don't know if I have enough light for the camera, but we'll try. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hold tight. I think I got a good sized bass on the ultralight. You guys probably can't even see this. I ain't gonna pick him up because I wanna break this line. Come on, big guy. Chill out now. Chill out. Hold on. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that on my ultralight. <laughs> it's a good looking fish. You get a light on it. Look at that gorgeous fish. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, my friend. Nice little ultralight catch there. He hit that as soon as it hit the water. I saw him splash around out here. It's 
Oh crap, really? <laughs> Let me turn this on here. Oh, we got a crappie. I found a little hot spot here. Hopefully you guys can still see I turned on my headlamp here. Got a good sized. Hold still there, buddy. Good sized black crappie. Look at that. Another beautiful fish. Another beautiful fish. Night time's where it's at out here. Give me three or four of those off dinner. I love crappie. Man, that was something else, y'all. After it got dark, I kept on with my ultralight jig on this bass pond and was pulling in sizable crappie. Never really crappie fished this one before, but I got three or four. Um, had to all be a good solid right around a pound worth. So thinking I may have to come back here with some small jigs and do some crappie fishing and eat some crappie. I've been missing crappie this summer. The river I usually pull crappie out of uh, was drained. Uh, there's some dam issues in town, but I'm hungry for some crappie. If you're interested in that, let me know. Maybe I'll do a, a catch, clean, cook, kind of show just how I do it. I'm still learning a bit, but uh, some of the best fish I've had is crappie here in Kansas. So let me know if you're interested. Take care, like, subscribe, high five, uh, take somebody fishing, get outside, do something. Enjoy the world. There's a lot out there. Take care, y'all.